Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Quill18 vs. The World, where we play through a series of Paradox games, and currently, we are playing Europa Universalis 3. Welcome back. I'm still live streaming, so if you see me turn over this way, it's because I'm uh, consulting the chat and seeing what people have to say. Um, we're going to try to put another nice long session, and hopefully... Uh, get ourselves out of trouble. Now, the big event that happened last time, and I did just go over a recap of the live stream, uh, but the big event is that we are currently at war with France. Now, I thought when it happened that we were in a very, very bad place, but luckily, all of our, our well, some of our significant allies joined in the fight, including, let's take a look at the war, on Team Good Guy, well, Team Us, England, Brittany, which is our uh, vassal right over here, Castile, which is huge, and Portugal. These are, are massive powers, and they have sent people over. This is Castile. This is Portugal. Castile's actually got some of Morocco as well, so they've been doing very well for themselves. In fact, they even have some of this area over here. Holy crap. Yeah, they've done really, really well, and they have units over here, including ships um, in the channel and uh, and units on ground. So that's, that's huge. <clears throat> These are Portuguese forces, for example. Um... Us, I'm a little worried about our economy, inflation's getting a little bit high, and actually one of the things I'm most concerned about is our infamy is quite high, so even if we do well in this war, we may be limited in how much uh, land we can claim, especially since we didn't go into this with a Casas Belly. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did start moving some people. I'm going to try, even though I've got less numbers here, I think I'm going to try to engage these French forces right here, because their morale is quite low, and we may be able to beat them. It's a little tricky. We do have a general here, although so does he. I don't know. I mean, it could rest up longer, but I'm not convinced it's going to make much of a difference. Um, and I'm moving my ships. Do I still have ships over here? No, those are not mine. Moving my ships over here to the channel so I can ferry some troops over. And I should probably buy a whole bunch more people. Um, one thing that I, I hadn't noticed before uh, is the cavalry numbers are in red here, because if you have, if more than 50%, if, if, yeah, if you're, the number of cavalry you have exceeds 50% of your infantry regiments, you don't get a bonus for combined arms. <laughs> so there's a certain ratio you want to aim for uh, to get an extra bonus in combat. So um, I, while it has been recommended to me that cavalry is much better generally, um, I think that may have been previous to certain changes in the game, I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to build more infantry is my point, uh, mostly because they're cheaper. So let's see. Things still good. I did lower the volume on the sound effects, sign, sound effects, so the explosions and stuff shouldn't be quite as loud. Oops, I misclicked you. Yeah, you're going there. And thank you, whoever told me that right-clicking on a province will let you build a military unit. That is so handy. So we're going to bring up a bunch of infantry, <clears throat> which is probably going to destroy our economy. But we do need troops. This this is going to be the war that makes us or breaks us. Okay, I'm going to stop there. That should be a plentiful second army. And I think I am going to engage, although he's got, no, hold on, he's got way more troops kicking around over here and he's going to reinforce. Never mind, that would be foolish. I'm going to move to armor and kind of go in between here. So that should open up some stuff. And let's start playing. Like so, speed up the game a little bit. Burgundy will give us... Oh, here's all the off-screen diplomatic stuff I did. Yeah, just trying to get more friendship with Burgundy, sort of. Uh, Provence, military access everywhere. Oh, Naples does not want a royal marriage. That's unfortunate. It would have been helpful. Uh, Leinster. Oh, accepted military alliance. That is good. That is very good. We'll have to call to arms after that. <clears throat> very, very handy. Um, and that's all been annexed. Right. And Ulster hates me. All right, good stuff. Scooch forward a little bit more. My ships are here, uh, and these are big ships and transports good, so we will be able to cart things across into Normandy. Of course, it's being sieged very well right now. Did you just move 12 units here? I don't know if I want to complete this move, because there's going to be 18 people. Oh, well, they're not joining yet. I guess they're more concerned about sieging. All right, we'll take the battle. Uh, these, I want to go away. <clears throat> I don't need to see these pop-ups. Okay, let's see if we can kill these guys before they get reinforcements. They were at higher morale, but we should be able to defeat them, I think. Maybe not. They do have the bent bonus. Oh, man. 
terrain penalties. Plus, we were on the attack. Where is he actually going to push us back here? Despite the fact that we massively outnumbered him. Ugh. And this is going to show us all the combat, right? Yeah, all right, good. Keep an eye on that. Come on, allies, join in. We can start moving some troops over. Come on. I need you to join in over here. Be faster. Okay. And hopefully you can make it there before my forces... Ah, retreat. Nope. They're going to retreat that way. All right, you guys join them then. Ah, oh, crap, they're intercepting, and I can't do anything about it. Shoot! That's going to be a lot of troops. Um, where do I want these guys to land, then? We can go into co- Because we should outnumber them slightly. Uh, we're probably going to just lose these forces. They're going to kite us back and forth. 34 people on the enemy side. Yeah, we're going to lose our main army completely. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I think we should win over here, though. Unless they have a significant defensive bonus. Doesn't look like they do. Oh, maybe not. We're falling behind. Oh, they have a they have a a general, and I don't. Yeah, do we have any uh, spare generals? Oh, we still have Anthony Suffolk. He made it away. That's pretty good. All right, you guys come over here. No, over here. And since we lost all our cavalry, we'll add some more in. This is really not good. Oh, we did lose that battle. Son of a bitch. But now we can retreat into Burgundy because we have access there. Anthony Suffolk just randomly died. Just randomly. He wasn't in a battle or anything. What? Alright, let's go and kill those guys again. This time for sure. Call to arms. Thank you. Not that you're going to help much, probably, but... Yeah, you do have a ship. I guess that counts for something. Alright, so he's going to siege all over Brittany, but we could probably siege over here pretty well. Yeah, we're kind of low. And there's no way... White piece? Wait, you would take a white piece? Really? Really? Well, they're not going to cede any territory. That's for sure. Would you revoke No, you're not you're not accepting any of this. No. In fact, I'm surprised you're even taking a white piece. You literally Concede defeat? No. No. Okay, I'm I'm totally, totally willing to get a white piece with France. I would get back Labour, Vendée. It's not like I've lost anything I've claimed. I don't have a military. My economy is in shambles. No, we're not surrendering. Heck, if anything, they're surrendering. They're kind of winning. There's no way we could win this. Although, I suppose I could just back off and let the... Uh, the Castilians try to kick ass, but I'm not even sure that they could pull that off. They do have a stack of 28, but France has got, like, France has got a lot of troops and a lot of allies. Yeah, I'm going to take it back. I, if anything, my economy sucks. We need, I need peace. I got to stop building up my military, lower my military in, uh, upkeep. White peace. Yes. Wow. Wow. That is so good. 
<laughs> I can't even tell you. I gotta move my ships to the Straits of Dover so I can pick up these guys. That is so good. Okay, economy, stop. We've got to take our land troops and drop them like all the way down. Our navy as well. We need to save money. We need to find our way out of this hole. I'm going to dust my finances very briefly here. I'm still going to complete building these uh, units because I'm going to need units at some point. So I'll aboard to Castille. They probably have money. That's interesting. Do they consider it a core? They do not. And that would get rid of any incentive for France to declare war on me again, if I could somehow sell it. I'm willing. I'm going to investigate. We've, you know, we've looked around before. Um, yeah, a maybe on nothing. What about uh, someone else? Um, They would buy it for a pittance. So unless I'm just really just trying to get rid of it. In France, I can't sell you anything right now, because we need to wait for another diplomat to come back. I have troops in foreign territory. Yes, not for long. And financially... Yeah, let's drop all this treasury spending. Um, I think we'll go slightly into debt. Temporarily and may take out a loan. Ideally, I don't want to do that. The problem is this balance here is misleading because that's not actually. I don't know, maybe it is. Whoa. It jumps too fast. Actually, let's lower it to where the. In there we go. Inflation isn't going to increase at least. We'll figure out what we want to do momentarily here. Okay, and drop off my units over here in Kent. Yay, Casas Bellies that I will not use. Trade rights. Exclusive trade rights for grain. Giving you better production, but less trade income. I don't feel like I want to agree to this. Well, I mean, I suppose I'm going to produce more like I'm, I'm selling each load for less but I'm gonna produce considerably more I guess maybe I will come out ahead think I will yeah let me take the balance up to be positive god it just it jumps so fast Unless I'm like manually do every click. If I try to hold it down. There. Slight balance. Um, alright, I'm gonna accept. See if see if that helps. I think I'll still. There, okay. Gaining slight amount of money. Call to arms from Castille against Muscovy and Byzantium. I'm gonna agree because I love Castile. Right? They I love them. They kind of saved my bacon in this whole war so for sure I'm gonna accept so we have a truce with France for five years right 23 yeah nice my allies came in to join not that it really matters peace offer from Muscovy sounds good I'm totally willing to go for that declare war instantly declare peace nice we're gonna have to drop our infamy that's gonna be important Ooh, ah. What are these guys building? Does it not tell me? Ah, infantry, yes. You build up some troops, you're gonna need it. Um, I'm gonna wait until the. Let's fast forward a little here. So we should just barely stay out of range of needing a loan. Trade stations, alright. Ooh, although if you keep spending merchants. I mean, it's good, we do want more merchants out there, but. And now we're currently losing money ever so slightly. probably unite all these guys. I don't think they're going to go over my internal supply limit. I've got a bunch of colonists and really know where to colonize yet. I have troops in foreign territory? Where? Oh! 
See, I thought it was complaining about these guys. Hold on, let's let's move over there. Let's get out of the foreign territory. Now, there we go. That makes so much more sense. In Ko. I was saying Kayu, I think, last time, which is just retarded. Excellent. You guys unite, and you know what we're going to do? How's our uh, rebellion risk? Still not great. I'm going to send uh, my smaller unit into, uh, I don't know, Fife here. In the center. We can probably hunt rebels as well. Okay, we're still, like, barely in the positive here. We should probably keep it up slightly higher. Ah! Okay, our stability went up. Good. Which actually increased our tax revenue considerably. Ah, oh, so much better. We really need to get our stability much, much better. How is our, um... Where's that rebellion map mode? I keep hitting him by accident. Oh, I keep hitting it by doing this. But there's... There it is. Okay, the revolt risk, I think, did fade slightly in Lothian. Lothian. Assassination of nobles. Noble families... Does this not pause when I get one of these messages? That's dumb. Noble families were the bulwarks of power during these times. Assassination of a powerful house leader was seen as a critical blow to those families' fortunes. With the rise of religious strife, assassination of rival religion... Rival religion's nobles became increasingly common. Let them solve it themselves, lose stability. Arr, take control of the situation. Plus one plutocracy. Which is actually good. I would like to move towards plutocracy because that's good for trade. So this option is bad. This option is good, which makes it pretty clear. I want this. And yes, I can build provincial improvements. I do have the money for it. Okay. I was going to say something once I had... Pause, I said. Once I had money. I was going to do stuff. What the hell is with this pausing? That's weird. Um... Improvements would be good, especially trade. We can build marketplaces. Churches is good for stability. It's kind of six to one, half a dozen to the other. Uh, build at places the highest revolt risk. I'm not sure it makes a difference. Those high-value provinces away from your borders. Yeah, all right, so... Okay, Moonster would be very good. So I guess they have the highest stability cost, the further away they are. Ah, uh, yes, infamy. That's bad. That is bad. Alright, I'm gonna do one of these. And I could afford one marketplace. It should be somewhere that has the highest sort of production slash trade. Laborde with the wine. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to invest any money in Laborde. Uh, Ayrshire with iron, that's probably pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Oh, someone in the channel asking for a shout-out. I guess we're gonna have to, um, give him a timeout. So, the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire has changed, or the Emperor of. Disputed Secession, Revolt's Possible. I think these are getting better, though. I hope. And can I- I can hunt rebels, right? Enables autom autonomous rebel suppression. Units under orders to suppress rebels will autom autonomously hunt down rebel units and besiege rebel provinces. Will stay clear of hostile armies. Does this do anything, then? In the province? I actually don't know. Does it just roam around? I'm actually not sure. Alright. Uh, we have a magistrate back. We have a bunch of diplomats. So, just out of curiosity, France. Just out of curiosity. I keep going back and forth on what to do about this thing. Ah! You'd actually be very likely to buy Laborde for me from, for 180. I think I am willing to do this because I do need the money. 
And I... Although, it's five years before we get a war. I could actually just wait, like... Until right before the truce is set to expire, and then sell it. I do need the money, though. But not that badly. I forgot about that. The truce is good. Alright. Yes, do it. People are do it. Let's get some more feedback here while the game runs a little bit. Sell it, get good relations with France. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. We're at literally minus 199. It's pretty much as low as you can go. Yeah, most people want it. Oh, Rebels and Moonster are early with that. France, I will sell you Lubborg. For... I'm going to go to Likely and then sell it at that level. Impossible! What? Look at this! What the hell? Well, Castille didn't want it last time. Yeah, no. It's maybe at a zero. God damn it. Seriously? I'm gonna sell it. I'm not getting much out of taxes here. I don't think. Uh, 723 per month, so 70 per year, or no, more than that, about, like, say, uh, about 85 per year, so I'm getting just like a year and a half worth of income from selling it now. I'll keep it for now. Wait and see if it goes up a little higher. Yes, 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 rebels, god damn you. Where's my fleet? Royal Navy. Go, um, go here. Eight units. Yeah, go to Cornwall. Big penalty for amphibious assault. I could... Yeah, I'll, I'll drop myself off in, in the Conant. And then transfer to Moonster from there. I'm still going to beat them before they rebel. Come on, buddy. Get on the boat. There we are. Cue that up. Revolts, yeah, they're they're less red now in most places. We are slightly gaining, which is good. Yeah, we don't we were not going to be Great Britain until we have cores on um, on Aberdeen, which was going to happen in 1466, and Lothian as well, basically at the same time. Park you back in. Uh, no, we got to bring our troops back. How are we getting our asses kicked over here? Well, I guess not having a general is part of it. Okay. I think we'll win, but this is actually kind of embarrassing. We do have manpower to spare. Oh, we have no military maintenance. That's why. I lost. Awesome. Let's go rest up in Knot. We have no leader and we won't. We'll wait until uh, all this kicks back up. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, he's going to automatically hunt that down. That is kind of cool, actually. If you have a bigger country with lots of rebels. That's very handy. Just going to make sure we don't let the siege go uh, too, too high here. We should be able to jump in there in a moment. There we go. We'll have all our troops meet there and crush them. They're going to auto-hunt rebels, too. So, internationally... I don't know, we're going. We're not going broke. Oh, and then we're losing money. Oh, yeah, because the upkeep. Okay, we crush that. Oh, and they're going back to where they were. That's kind of cool, actually. Then you can just uh, park yourself in Cumbria. That'll be good enough. But we will lower the army maintenance. Not all the way. We want them to be a little more ready than they were this time. Slightly losing money. Oh, the rebel's still alive. I hadn't realized I hadn't crushed them. Still. There we go. That's weird. Can't just click on Cumbria anymore.
Okay, you can go back to Wessex. Well, they are auto-hunting rebels, going to the places with... Because I did tell them to go here. Hmm. What an interesting mechanic. I can build improvements. I do have money. So let's do that. We're going to build one more church. Wessex has the hot one of the highest. Kent, London. It's like, hmm, that's disturbing. Why is my revolt risk in friendly places so goddamn high? My stability is positive and everything. 